My name is Deidre Liscano. I'm a Houston-based artist. I've been um, painting here for about two and a half years and uh, just began curating art shows and trying to promote other artists. I have always loved art and sketching and doodling and things like that, but it wasn't up until 2010 that I picked up a paintbrush and started painting and realized that it was a huge, huge part of who I was, who I wanted to be and what I wanted for my family even, just to be a part of that. The year that I started painting, 2010, I got divorced that year. Um, my mother was diagnosed with cancer and the other thing that happened was that my daughter, um, all of a sudden, without any warning, um, developed epilepsy, was diagnosed with epilepsy. Art became my saving grace that same year. Houston art is everywhere, and it's for everyone, and it's by everyone. Um, Houston artists are from every walk of life. You have shows that, that feature artists that have you know, a lifelong of, of training and education, and artists who really just taught themselves and started recently or shortly before the show. I love that that is offered in Houston, such a huge city, and we have the opportunity to really expose some really, really talented artists. Everything that I do is about an emotion or an attitude that I'm feeling at the time. Even when I'm, when it's a commission or when it's a, a call to artists for a particular theme of a show, it's it's never that flat. It's it's never about that. Um, I did an '80s show um, a year ago, and the funny thing is, is that you can you can say, okay, let's do an '80s theme, but what it turned into was that painting uh, right there, and um, it's kind of a funny story, and it sort of has so many layers. So it's never just about the theme. So in that particular case, I um, didn't want to just paint a, an, a, a musician from the 80s or a style from the 80s. Um, so I thought about this song that I had always <laughs> liked. It's kind of a parody, and it's called Everybody Run, The Homecoming Queen's Got a Gun. And uh, so I wanted to paint about that. It was a song by Julie Brown. She was a comedian. It was a hilarious video hilarious song so I wanted to sort of do that the funny thing is, is that everything is personal everything comes back to again what I'm feeling my an emotion or an attitude and again it came back to me and that might sound vain to people but I, I don't think it has anything to do with with vanity it's just that I think artists have to paint what they're feeling um, what's inside of them and so that painting came back to me what I want to do with art is I, I really really eventually want to take lessons I, I really want to take formal lessons I want to continue learning um, I learn every single time I do a painting or a drawing I learn something new and it's usually from the artists here in Houston the other artists who are more established and have have been doing it forever and do it really really well and I always turn to them to ask advice what to do here what to do there what to use um, what does this you know paint do or or what what can I do to make this look better but I have so many ideas in my head that I want to paint and it's really hard for me to put them down because I don't think I have the confidence so I think in five years where I would love to see myself is having more confidence in what I'm doing to be able to put those ideas onto a canvas or onto a paper. I curated my very first show and it was based on The Wizard of Oz. It was called From O to Z and that just snowballed into such a huge, huge event when I introduced The Wizard of Oz, the call to artist. I had so many artists telling me, oh my God, it's my favorite movie, it's one of my favorite movies. I think not only does it span across generations, but um, it spans across genres. Um, you have people who love the original movie or the book, or you have people who love the play Wicked, or you have people who love a song 
or a reference or a character. And it's just, it, it's, so, it's on so many levels for so many different people. And it means something to every single person in a different way. So I don't think it's, it's you know, I don't think it's, um, it's that one-sided black and white. The message that I tried to give to the artists when they were doing the call to artists, when they would tell me, when they would respond and say, it, it doesn't really fit my style. I so wanted for that not to be the case because just like the this gun thing with the, you know, the homecoming queen, um, it was a theme, but the painting that I did wasn't really specifically about the theme. It was about me and how I molded that theme into something personal. And I wanted the artist to do the same thing. So I didn't want the theme to mold the art. I wanted it to be the opposite. And when I got that across to some of the artists and they embraced that, then the art that came out of that show was clearly evident. It was so amazing. Houston, Texas is one of the biggest cities in the nation, and yet we do not have, we're the only major city that does not have any sort of an organized Wizard of Oz event. We don't have a festival, we don't have an art show until now, um, so uh, I, I think people are interested in doing that, you know, interested in coming back and saying, hey, every year we're going to come back and do a Wizard of Oz thing, and um, so I'm hoping to develop it from the Ostravaganza to a full-fledged festival. My goal and my vision is um, to have something that's citywide and an annual event to something that draws people to Houston, that has something um, to offer everyone. It has um, art. I want art to be a huge um, component of the festival. I want for children to to find everything that art has to offer. I, I want them to to know that art can open so many doors and that art can heal so much and that art can, you know, just jump you from one level of creativity to another. I, I want them to start realizing that from a very early age. And so I want to approach schools, like I said, hospitals, museums, things like that to get children's participation. So that's my future goal for the, for the Oz Festival. Um, so I wanted to have a huge art element, children's art element, and then go from there, the full festival effect. Well, I want people to take away from this show that, um, that, that there is something, first of all, that there's, there is something for everyone in Houston. Um, in terms of shows and interests and, you know, with, 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 within the art um, scene. And from this show, eventually the way that I envision it to be with being a, a festival, um, I, I want people to have things to do that um, are sort of one of a kind. The Wizard of Oz itself, the whole, you know, the, the story is one of a kind, but it doesn't have to stay there. It, it, it's obvious and I mean that was proven at the show with all the different art that there's so many different things that you can do with it so I want them to take away that it's not just about the ruby red slippers it's not just about the 1939 movie or Judy Garland or the stereotypes that you know you, you usually hear about it it's it's everything and anything that you can possibly imagine if there's any advice that I would give to um, artists who, that are just getting into the scene, I honestly don't feel like I've arrived. And I don't know if you should ever feel like you've arrived, you know? Um, I don't know if you should ever feel like you, you know, that you've achieved everything that you can achieve artistically. Because I think even the most seasoned artists are, are always learning something. And they should. I, I feel like they should. I am nowhere near achieving, you know, my potential. I still have so much learning to do. So what I would tell artists who are just starting to let them know that they do have talent and you know where they are on this day is not where they're going to be next year or in five years or in ten years artistically. If they
they just keep going and growing. Um, don't take, you know, criticism personally. Just keep on going and try to meet as many people as you can and learn from as many different artists as you can and then take what works for you. Always take just what works for you. I do sell my artwork and I do sell prints and if anybody wants to uh, purchase any of my artwork, they can go to my website, DeidreLiscanoArt.com or they can contact me um, via my Facebook page, which is also Deidre Liscano Art um, on Facebook.